हेलो मैम हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग मैम तो हाउ आर यू मैम यस आई एम गुड थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग व्हाट अबाउट यू सेम हियर मैम सो मैम दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट मीटिंग सो कुड यू प्लीज इंटरव्यू योरसेल्फ सो दैट माय ऑडियंस कैन सपोर्ट यू सर यस माय नेम इज सरस्वती एंड आई एम फ्रॉम मुंबई एंड बेसिकली आई बिलोंग टू उत्तर प्रदेश and uh, my education is i am ba bed yeah uh, but uh, nowadays i am a homemaker yeah that's all about me thank you ma'am so yeah. before to start i also uh, you know introduce you, yeah introduce yourself also please yeah thank you ma'am my name is yashpal singh and i belong to jammu kashmir basically jammu mm-hmm. so i completed my bachelor of arts then pursued masters in political science mm-hmm. and currently i'm thinking to join for phd but uh, few, for a few days back uh, many people suggested me to start a youtube channel just mm-hmm. because i want to learn english so basically i have learned this language by staying in the village without any you know tuition or coaching so okay. first, i started my youtube channel english with yashpal mm mm-hmm. but uh, i used to provide the basic content on my youtube channel just from the very beginning not these practice videos but okay. so but after having a you know i think little bit experience uh, by providing my content i came to the mm-hmm. conclusion that it is better to provide some practice videos as well so that my audience get motivation as well as practice so that uh, they can also practice so that's why i'm connecting to people to have a practice so that other people who join to me can also learn from the conversation so that's about all you yeah that's good because you know uh, only to learn grammar is not enough when we yeah. will not uh, use in uh, in our day to day life to for spoken purpose so it is not helpful yeah yes ma'am yeah. so basically i have seen many talks uh, that you have conducted with many people but basically i was not clear about your image yeah in videos i have seen but from the yeah. name i could not uh, draw from the conclusion that uh, whether it is your name or somebody else so i just you know yeah. messaged i thought that uh, whether you are available or not so that's okay so actually i also i am running my youtube channel also uh, yeah. there i also uh, means upload uh, english grammar as well as conversational videos yeah so yeah. how start your journey of learning this language as you said you are a homemaker and uh, are you passionate about this language from your childhood or just started from few days back <clears throat> no no actually i was very passionate uh, to speak this language when i was uh, in my 10th standard uh, mm-hmm. but uh, as i am from uttar pradesh and from hindi medium school so yes. at that time there was not such an environment and mm-hmm. even not uh, Uh, facility of social media platform yeah, not yeah. mobile facility so <laughs> because of that uh, now as I, i am at home so i thought that uh, i should work on my communication skill in this way i can utilize my time as well as uh, learn this language also yeah basically yeah. you want to be you know most effective in the way because you are home at the same time you want to improve this communication skill right yeah So do you have a some dream like a, to join you know after having this practice skills you know enhanced or just uh, you know improving in this language just to communicate with the people to learn about something Actually this uh, 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 this questions answer I I have given many times in my videos with different yeah. uh, person uh, just because uh, you know I already left my job I worked yeah. for 15 years in Mumbai Yeah uh, in covid time I left my job so i have no i'm not learning this language for sub, uh, for job purpose i yeah. learn because it's my passion it's my dream and uh, whatever knowledge i have i just want to share with others and yeah. i have a daughter and yeah. uh, i also want to help uh, yes. her in in study also in further yeah. study yeah, yeah. so don't you want to continue your job uh, right now or just you know left forever no no i just left for forever because of my daughter i just want to spend time with her only and want to teach her mm-hmm. 
Yeah. So, why it happened that only, you know, women used to sacrifice their life uh, for their family? Why? Why not for men? Uh, because you know women have more uh, more attached with their children rather than uh, uh, means a man mm. yes Is and uh, a- i think from ancient time it's our uh, like uh, in our culture that always uh, women sacrifice and uh, mm. not sacrifice Uh, even yeah. i do not sacrifice my job i just left my job and uh, i do another job that is to take care of my family to help my daughter in her study so this is also a job for me it's a yeah. duty not job it's duty duty yeah and you know yeah. there is a difference between duty and job uh, for job yeah. you have very limited hours to work yeah, yeah. But for a duty you are you know always ready for 24 yeah. hours and yeah whenever you are called you can you know perform yes. your job yeah. yes them you know you talked about right now that uh, from ancient times uh, it is the women only who you know sacrifice it is not a sacrifice of course but little bit we can say that in that sense it is a sacrifice so why not it is there for men like uh, you have seen in the ancient scriptures that uh, we can say that it is a able practice even we practice in the ancient like sati pratha but not men pratha men you know did not uh, did this uh, but um, women used to do so why it is only with the women that they have some kind of practices from ancient time not uh, men uh, because you know uh, i think uh, we live in society man uh, dominated society because of that always women suffer but uh, i think uh, in this generation and uh, this scene has totally changed and women are taking part equally in every field even even our forces also yeah 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 from very yeah. uh, they are allowed to continue their permanent permanent commission in the military otherwise earlier they used to you know serve only for short commission yes and you know now they are uh, uh, educated equally and uh, means uh, now we can say husband as well as wife as well as wife both are working and according to their understanding uh, sometimes yes. husband uh, live at home sometimes sometimes wife at home if uh, yes. wife is more capable to earn money so uh, i also seen that uh, such a type of family where uh, means uh, lady go outside for working yes and uh, man husband sit at home to take care of their children I hope there is a problem and you know simultaneously situation is changing day by day Yes ma'am yes ma'am I hope there is a provision for men right you know currently that they can leave for their children like there is a provision for maternity leave right Yes So ma'am what kind of society do you want as you said that earlier the society was man dominated do you want a society which is women dominated or what kind of society do you want right now But do you think Uh, actually uh, there should be not um, any i do not uh, prefer like uh, man dominated society uh, or uh, women dominated society both have uh, uh, the same understanding and yes, uh, you know can run the society very well if you yes. have a misunderstanding no everyone is equal only yeah. our body structure is different yes yes ma'am yes. you know said that uh, you know earlier uh, the ancient movement was patriarchy to maintain the, the superior status of the men and currently you can see that there is a movement like feminism and they only talk about the women rights women freedom they you know even suggest for uh, i think single family to you know earlier as we join you know live in joint family but right now they are talking about nuclear family in nuclear family you are only two persons of husband wife and their children only not other person so mm-hmm. what do you think the effect is uh, you know if you have a nuclear family then joint family uh, both have their you know advantage and disadvantage uh, if you live in a joint family so your children will learn culture tradition values yes, of mm-hmm. life yes ma'am from their uh, means uh, grandparents yes ma'am if you live in a nuclear family so uh, means you will not able to learn all these things in a proper way they get deprived from all these kind of values 
that are yes. not taught in right yes so which one do you prefer nuclear or joint uh, uh, i prefer both because uh, i as i told you earlier both have their uh, advantages and disadvantages but yeah. you know most of the time uh, joint family is good because uh, you will get more helping hands yes yes yeah otherwise you suffer alone by your own self yes because you know in uh, if you live in a joint family so our uh, children can learn more uh, yes, they will not feel alone yes, because uh, uh, most uh, now uh, means uh, um, couple have only one or two children and if they if they have only one single child so sometimes uh, that child feel you know um, alone loneliness yes. so i think at that time joint family is helpful for them yes ma'am the, for that type of family yes yes ma'am so ma'am you are a you know homemaker and housewife you have this experience that uh, you are you know witnessing these events in the social media and newspapers that uh, many children are you know committing suicides uh, just because they could not pass their exams just because they could not secure few more marks and they committed suicide so what can be the cause behind this uh, whether it is a peer pressure or uh, you know students students uh, mind making or just it is you know pressure from their family what do you think of uh, it's a student mindset also family pressure as well as society pressure yes ma'am uh, because uh, parents um, i think most of the time parents are responsible because they are have expectation uh, for yes. higher score uh, and they always compare their children with others yes ma'am so do high scores matter i just you know good education with wisdom matters what do you think no uh, only uh, high score is does not matter if you have no knowledge and yes. you get uh, scored good so yes. i think uh, that is not useful for your life yes. Uh, even you can get job also based on that mm. but for life uh, you can't live a uh, uh, means you know happy life satisfied life right yeah you just uh, live uh, uh, means robotic life yes ma'am yes ma'am so yes. basically uh, as uh, mahatma gandhi said that education mean overall development of a person you know intellectual social behavior and you know the factual as well but it is a all round development not the one factor of the life so as yes. you know many people the who commit suicide or something like that they consider that by losing few marks in the exam by losing one job they lost their life but i think it is not a life it is just a part of life so what do you think yes, of part, it yes it's a part of life and they commit suicide because they are not uh, uh, strong from inner and they are not trained by their parents good yeah. marks doesn't matter yes getting mark good marks is good thing but yeah. by chance suppose if you are not get good marks or if you fail are not able to crack any exam so it it means not that you are uh, lose in your life yeah. yes as you know yeah. very soon the one movie release that uh, movie name is 12 fail so we can yes. learn from that movie also Yes, uh, it is drawn from Anura Pathak's novel, that twelfth film novel, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, we have examples like you can take an example of uh, Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam. He failed to join the army, but he, you know, struggled again and then became the president of India. So I think he he has you know he has also mentioned you know gave a definition to the failure fail you know first attempt in learning. So of course, if we adopt that kind of strategy. but i think it is not the only teachers call we should you know invite to the parents as well in this journey because it is a you know bin bin situation for both teacher as well as uh, parents and students but if we club together otherwise i think it is you know nuclear task for the teacher but happens in the society is that we only you know ascribe something or you know ask for the teacher you have to perform your duty but parents don't you know perform their duty as well so who is you know i think blame we should who to we should blame Uh, we should not blame anyone because you know first of all uh, as uh, we when uh, when we are small as a child so
so it's duty of parents it's duty of uh, means the school teachers uh, not to give only uh, means the bookish knowledge and sure. all out development means uh, spiritually also spiritual yes, also if a child will become spiritual and he or she will uh, strong from inside so uh, he or she will never uh, took such type of take such type of step for suicide but basically you know there is a mindset of the parents they consider that if a child become spiritual maybe he would become baba and left the family <laughs> no 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 i'm not talking about to become baba i just want to tell you uh, we should uh, uh, means uh, uh, make familiar with our uh, with children means uh, they have uh, um, what is the parents responsibility and school responsibility responsibility, uh, responsibility? means uh, we should also uh, like uh, practice spirituality yeah uh, like see, yoga meditation these types of uh, activity and little bit you know worship also because uh, this is the part of our life and yes, we can't yes. deny this but basically because of that mindset parents used to you know Uh, prohibit their children don't read books like mythological books mahabharat bhagavad gita ramayana and there are many books, um, books like yog vishishta you know the persons who reach higher climax of the spiritual delights swami vivekananda pa, ramakrishna paramahansa and shankaracharya ji and many more people in india but basically we you know prohibit as a parents to children don't get into deeper insight of their what they have done so what do you think Whether we should associate uh, these books, uh, these kind of literature, in their studies or not? Yes, there should be books uh, in their study, in their curriculum. These types of books should be there because in this way they can, I mean, uh, know about uh, our mythology. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, basically, yes. have seen uh, in uh, seen in uh, Islam that they have only one book that is the Quran, and they, mm. you know. is that children quran and you know to perform namaz five times a day but we hindus you know in our culture we never you know did such kind of acts with our children we never you know ask them to you know perform even two times puja in the day early in the morning and in evening we never you know made a time table for them to read some good books like ramayan bhagavad gita you know the qurans the vedas but we never did this so what do you think what we should do i'm not uh, talking about religion because uh, really, if you talk about religion religion so this is totally different topic uh, uh, according to me religion means to practice religion if you are pure from inside you for means uh, uh, avoid to do bad activities so this is also a religion yes ma'am and yeah. i think uh, this is written in all books yeah. uh, religion started from saudi arabia so the culture of saudi arabia is totally different from our own and the the religion that we perform as hinduism it is started in indian subcontinent so we have conditions say different but basically yeah. i'm not talking about religion i'm talking about the way of you know behaving the way of responsibility yeah. that we perform you know way of them, behaving the way of we are thinking that is main thing yeah basically you know i'm not talking about religion i'm just talking about the you know in islam parents you know used to give their children that you have to read this you have to perform this but we as a parents never do this with our children and whenever i you know i have witnessed this uh, kind of abuse that when ever a child uh, starts you know reading this kind of books parents used to prohibit him or uh, him, you know her that uh, don't do this because they you know have this kind of mindset that maybe one day he or she would become baba so would leave us Yeah. no religion means you know to practice uh, uh, be honest we can say uh, being with your uh, means uh, pure with your thoughts yeah this uh, this types of activity we should teach our children from their childhood only yes even yes. Uh, you can meditation is also very helpful and in our schools there should be one uh, means uh, class for meditation and yoga yoga in this way you know you can become strong from inside yes ma'am yes ma basically yeah. you know in today's way we only used to think from outer side because the world is becoming too materialistic uh, but i think yeah. it should and as one as buddha have said that we should never go to either extreme whether it is positive or negative we just follow the middle path 
but we are you know not yeah. focusing on that middle path and focusing on extreme of our life so i think that extreme would you know lead us into chaos but not success if you are educated well and if you have a higher education you can get a good job on good post but uh, that means not uh, you get, you are uh, happy from inside yeah no yes. status is not consistent with satisfaction because satisfaction is totally different from uh, you know status yeah. you have seen that uh, many people who don't even have basic necessities of life they are satisfied and you have witnessed that many people who are at the climax of their you know status but they still don't uh, have a you know, satisfied life so it is not consistent it is inconsistent i think yes correct yeah. because you know um uh, as you told uh, like uh, so people who is on very high post yes, uh, they have all things but still uh, they are uh, you know searching for the next level level yes. and they are not satisfied with what they have yes and yeah. because of that uh, they are not happy in their life yes ma'am and sometimes yes. they use some ranks in their life so before we wrap up this session you know what are the points that you want to suggest for people as a parent what they should do so that they would become you know good parent as well as good member of the society because you have this experience so that's why i'm asking this question okay for good parents and for good society member uh, you should be very honest and always uh, uh, means uh, do your duty in a good way and the same thing we if we teach our children so uh, the next generation will be like that yes ma'am we should always talk uh, if someone is doing wrong thing yes ma'am yeah so ma'am at least we can talk our children to do yes. and indulge in the wrong activity yes, so in this way we can uh, uh, make a beautiful society yes ma'am also yeah so i hope ma'am so what is your opinion about this my if opinion if i ask the same question to you what what is what will be your answer on the question that for being a good parent as well as good member of the society my answer would be in one word just yes, focus on inclusivity don't be inclusive you know exclude the things because if you want to become a good member of the society good person then you need overall things you know we can't focus on one thing my you know way according to buddha is middle path focus on the middle path then you would lead a satisfied and happy life because i'm still living in village you can think of and i if you you know live in village you don't have much resources even light issue always there you know but the issue basic necessities are not met in the village life but still mm -hmm. i want to leading a life the way i should and i think uh, you know many people in today's world are running you know after material things that's fine you need some money because you need to money to feed yourself your family you need a shelter and you need medicines to care your health but without money these things won't happen but money is not each and everything money is just a part of life and there are bigger things you know in your life that you focus upon but due to this materialistic mindset we are ignoring all these things and you know focusing on very limited things and you know basically there is a rat race in the society to compete is and everything to you know make somebody else you know lag behind yourself and to secure the position of his or her so i think the only i quote i am remembering is that the vasudev kutumbakam we can survive only have this mindset there ki pura vishv hi kya ek parivar hai so if we yes. have this mindset then we would live a you know very happy and satisfied life yes yeah so actually i really enjoyed this session with you and you yeah. raised very nice nice topic i really enjoyed this session with you so thank you ma'am for having such a nice session basically somebody has you know texted me that uh, he i don't know he or she he wants to conduct a session with me but suddenly you know he messages me that uh, the light is off so I, light is off here also but i have to solar charge battery so i am amazing with okay. that so okay. that's why i text to you to have a you know conversation so thank you for having such a nice session ma'am thank you thank you thank you